Welcome to the IOTA channel and to the first video in a series in which I share my journey of setting up a Domotics home automation system. The reason for me in creating this series is because this is a learning experience. I want to get an understanding of the platform and I want to learn from you how you are using Domotics to make your life easier. So your comments are very welcome and much appreciated. Also, I want to give back to the community. Whenever I use free and open source software, I feel the need to give something back. Not being a programmer, it has proven difficult to do this. But in creating and sharing these videos, I feel I can maybe make a difference this way. Each of the episodes in this series will be short and zooms in on a certain aspect of building my home automation platform. This gives you the possibility to pick and choose the topics you want to dive into and gives me the possibility to learn as I go. So let's get started with this first episode. This is what we will cover. First of all, what is domotics? Why did I choose this over other home automation systems? What are the deployment options and how will I deploy domotics? First of all, what is Domotics? If in your house you have different smart devices from different vendors, you end up with various apps on your smartphone to control them all. What you possibly want is to integrate them to make sensors from one vendor trigger devices from another vendor. And this is where Domotics comes in. Domotics is a home automation solution where you bring together devices from different vendors to control them from a centralized interface. In Domotics, you will also be able to configure events to automate tasks. Domotics is easily configurable using a browser-based interface from which you can add hardware, configure devices and, as shown on this slide, drag and drop, drop puzzle pieces to build events. Watch here how easy it is to dim the study line to 80% when the doorbell is rung just by dragging together these puzzle pieces. Domotics is certainly not the only or even most popular home automation platform today. There are a variety of choices out there. It is not my goal to do a full comparison of different platforms but I would like to advise you to test out the different options to see which suit your needs best. I chose Domotics because it was best aligned with my use case. Most importantly, it fully supports my hardware. The lighting system Bitticino My Home is supported out of the box and it is offered for free. My Xiaomi sensors are supported and other hardware as well. Secondly, I find Domotics user-friendly. When configuring the software, I don't need to fiddle around in YAML files, but I can do all the configuration from a web interface. And lastly, however this is not unique to Domotics, it runs on software and hardware I know and I have, namely Linux on a Raspberry Pi. There are different ways to get Domotics up and running in my house, and let's go over these different options. When installing Domotics, I can go for a native installation on, on hardware or in a VM. Domotics is available as an application on a Raspberry Pi, on Windows or on Linux. I can also choose to install Domotics as part of an appliance deployment. The appliance route is more attractive for me. And let me explain to you why. The first appliance option is called IoT Stack. IoT Stack is installed on top of a Debian base and gives you a GUI from where you can launch one click installs of a variety of IoT applications. IoT Stack installs these applications in their own Docker containers. This means that if I later, after the installation of Domotics, would require an MQTT server, for example, I just have to click this option in the IoT Stack app menu, after which the installation and configuration is done automatically. Another appliance option is Diet Pi. With their slogan, Lightweight Justice for your single board computer, 
This project delivers a Debian-based distribution optimized for various single board computers. With currently more than 170 one-click installations of a great variety of software. Not only IoT related, but desktop environments, media center solutions, NAS solutions and much, much more. In the next videos, we will discover together how to set up Domotics as a single click install on DietPi. I will set it up on my Raspberry Pi 4 and will use a USB SSD as a hard disk instead of an SD card. Thank you very much for watching the first episode in this Domotic series. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I look forward to sharing my next video with you. Goodbye.